हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज टॉपिक इज एक्सप्लेन टॉशन एंड डी टॉशन इन गैस्ट्रोपोडा इन फ्रेश वाटर एंड टेरेस्ट्रियल मोलुष्क देयर इज नो फ्री स्विमिंग लार्वाल स्टेज बोथ ट्रोकोफोर एंड वेलीगर स्टेजेस आर पास्ड इन साइड द एग एंड अ स्मॉल स्नेल हैचेस फ्रॉम द एग दी यर्ली लार्वा is symmetrical with the anterior mouth and posterior anus and the gills are located on the posterior side as the larva develops the cell its visceral mass begins to rotate counterclockwise to arrange the visceral organs so that they are housed within the coils of the cell and the organ openings are displaced to the anterior side where the opening is of the cell during torsion the visceral and pallial organs change their position by rotating 180 degree the posterior mantle cavity is brought to an anterior position the gills and kidneys move from left to right and front which aids in breathing in the nervous system the two pleuroviscerous connectives cross in a figure of 8 one passes over the intestine and the other under it then the alimentary canal twists in the visceral mass and opens from the anus on the other side on the side of the head on the anterior side after the twist the foot can be retracted after the head during the twisting head and foot remain fixed and the rotation takes place in the visceral mass only behind the neck so that the visceral organs of the right side come to the come to occupy the left side and vice versa before the twist the visceral mass points forward and the mantle cavity is posterior this position is called exogastric after the twist the position becomes endogastric in which the visceral mass points back and the intestine lies in the spirals of the cell and the anus opens on the anterior side 90% of the twist is affected by the right retractor muscle which is quite prominent in the larva while the left retractor muscle is rudimentary the rest of 10% of the torsion is caused by the differential growth of the visceral mass twisting occurs quickly and is completed in 15 to 30 minutes counter clockwise rotation of the visceral mass causes the cell to wrap right handed which occurs in most cases however clockwise rotation of the visceral mass also rarely occurs resulting in sinistra left handed wrapping of the cell significance of the torsion since the gastropod cell has only one opening it must serve as both an entrance and an exit for all visceral organs both the mouth and the anus must open to the front the mantle cavity must also open on the front to facilitate breathing the respiratory current opposes the locomotion after the torsion which increases the availability of water inside the gill chamber the visceral mass must undergo rearrangement so that the opening of the kidney gonads and anus migrate to the front which is the only opening to the cell the small osphradium chemoreceptor also migrates to the front so that the stream of water entering the mantle cavity can be chemically analyzed the bulky buccal mass migrates to the anterior side which provides stability during locomotion the twist allows the foot to be retracted after 
the head for the better head protection. Detorsion On twisting is the reversal of the torsion that occurs when during evolution the cell is lost or a type of cell that has openings on opposite sides evolves. In such situation twisting of the visceral mass is not necessary. Thus detorsion occurs during the larval stage and the animal returns to being to being bilaterally symmetrical. The nervous system becomes symmetrical and non-twisted in the shape of an eight. The pallial complex travels backwards. Tenidium travels backwards or sideways. The auricle moves behind the ventricle. The visceral loop and the intestine straighten. Detorsion occurs in pulmonata such as oction and bulla, where anus and tenidium are directed laterally. The aplysia on twisting occurs due to the loss of the cell. The gills are directed laterally but are located posterior to the heart and the body becomes symmetrical. In pterotrachy coronata, floating sea snail, the cell, mantle and the visceral sac are lost and thus the animal becomes symmetrical, one like with a long proboscis for feeding. Even the nudibranchs undergo detorsion due to the loss of the cell. Doris has symmetrical rhinophores and anal gills on the back side. The sea snails, Eolis and Lolidia are symmetrical animals because they have undergone a distortion due to the absence of a cell. They move with the help of a ventral foot and breathe with respiratory wags that are present all over the body.